Hey guys, so today we are going to be working out of this book. Now, um, there's only a class set of these books, so be sure you do not take these home. These stay in the room, so leave them on the desk when you leave. Um, we're going to be working on nuclear energy like we worked on last week a little bit. Um, and we're going to be working on a few things that may be new and a few things that we've talked about already. The good thing is you can look everything up in this book, and I'm going to show you how. So here is the sheet you're going to have in front of you. Um, at the top, what you'll notice is that we have some things we're going to define. And it says define the following words using chapter 20. So the first thing you need to do is find chapter 20. So I'm going to find chapter 20. Um, and it will look like this when you get to it. Okay, it says chapter 20, it says radioactivity and nuclear reactions. So, on your paper, it says define the following words using chapter 20. Don't go to the glossary and find these. Find them in chapter 20. I've put them in order. So, when you, the first one is strong force, and you'll notice that the first bold word will be strong force, and it's highlighted. It's the force that causes protons and neutrons to be attracted to each other. So, you're going to go through the chapter and answer those and define those using the highlighted words, all right? Now it says read through pages 616 to 620 and answer the following questions. So that's section one. So if I go back to page 616, let's see it at the bottom, I read 616, 617, 618, 619, and then there's 620 right here. So be sure you look at the numbers that I've assigned because if you look right here, I said do numbers one, two, and three. So you're gonna do one, two, and three. Do not do number four. You'll notice I didn't put that here, okay? So now it says read through the next section, page 621 through 627. And notice, here's more of your words, okay? So 621 through 627. When I get to 627, I've got some more questions here. Now, on yours, it says we're starting on question nine. That means do not answer question eight. You have to be careful and look at the numbers that I put right here. So we're gonna do nine, 10, and 11. So nine, 10, and 11. All right, then it says use all of chapter 20 to answer the following questions. So I'm gonna to go to page 638. Okay, we're gonna to go to 638. It's gonna be right here. Okay, 638. Now, be careful. I have skipped some questions. Like I go 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Well, actually, I didn't skip any right here. But be sure you only do the questions that I ask you to do. Now, if you don't know the answer, what keeps the particles of nucleus together? You can go back and look up these things and see which one's the answer. Don't think you have to have it memorized. Go back in the chapter and look them up. All right? And then we, I said 640, page 640 right here. I have 5, 8, and 9. So that is, we're gonna do numbers five, number eight, and number nine, okay? Now, the last thing says draw the process listed below using the page listed. So we're gonna draw nuclear fission. That says page 624, so I'm gonna go back to 624. All right, here's 624, and I said figure eight. Now, don't draw this one, because this one's figure nine. Figure eight is right here, so you're going to draw that in your box right here. Now, if you need to turn it sideways, that's fine too. Then I said to draw a nuclear fusion, which is on page 625, the next page. And I said it needs to be figure 10. This is figure 11, don't draw that one. Figure 10 is right here, all right? And that's all you're gonna do today. You will turn this in, leave the book on your desk when you finish. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow.